Tonight we have our first faction war. We have been waiting for PvP for a long time now, and rumor has it that a rough version of it will be coming later this month. Until that time, I came up with a sort of PvP style thingamajiggy. Now this is an AE Federation related event, so this is how it works. There are five factions in the AE Federation. Legion, Nation, Chaos, Shadow Scythe, and Seraphic. This faction war will determine which of those factions is the best, at least until the next war. Each faction will select 10 fighters that will represent them. Now I racked my brain trying to think of the best way to do this to make it fair. Round 1. Round 2. So if this looks a bit confusing, it's because I set it up so that each faction would battle at least two times. I set it up via this style. So not every faction is fighting against every other faction, but this way they were fighting against different factions. The downside to this is I had to base it on a point system. For example, if Nation wins a match, they get a point. If they lose a match, they gain nothing. If by the end of the second round, a faction has two points and no other faction has two points, then that faction will win by default. If more than one faction has two points, round three starts, which is an elimination round. Basically, last faction standing wins. So how does a battle work? Simple. It's basically a battle of luck. Have you ever played rock, paper, scissors? If you have, and if you're lucky at it, you'll do great here. If you haven't played, rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. The chosen faction members selected to battle will line up across from each other. When the announcer says, go, the two opponents will use an emote which will symbolize a rock, paper, or scissors. The first emote is cry, this is rock. The second is wave, this is scissors. The third is MJ, this is paper. So cry beats wave, wave beats MJ, MJ beats cry. Each faction will have 10 people representing them per battle. These can change between matches. The 10 people will line up facing each other, as I already mentioned. When the announcer says go, the first two in line use one of the three emotes against each other. The loser moves out of the line. The winner remains. This goes down the line till all 10 have finished. The faction with the most remaining members in the line win that match. Each match will be carried out this way. If any faction makes it to round 3, it will be carried out in a similar way until a final faction remains, and I already mentioned that. Very important rule is to remember the opponents using the emotes must use the emotes at the same time. Otherwise, they can redraw. If one of the faction members is having problem with emotes, they can be replaced with another person who perhaps has better timing or a better PC or device. The faction that wins the faction war will be classified the best faction until they are dethroned in the next war. As an added bonus, the winning faction will get access to an exclusive channel for 2000 Artex points giveaway. Any member of that faction can enter this giveaway. A winner of that giveaway will be announced in a week or so. So how do you join a faction? Head to the AEF PvP Playground server. Once there, head to Server Roles channel and select which faction you want to join by clicking the reaction under the banner. Each faction has its own channel you can talk in. We will all be meeting at 6pm Eastern Time today on the AQ3D game. If you want to know what time that is in your location, check the announcement in the Discord server I mentioned earlier. There is a world clock there and it will tell you in your time what time it would be. So I hope to see you there, and I'd like to thank those who helped me with this. Also, Ken is planning on streaming some of this event on his Twitch. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my Twitter, the link to that will be along with all the other links in the description below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.